Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to make two different body sprays. The first one I'm gonna be sharing with you today is a traditional type body spray, and the second one I'm gonna be sharing is a shimmer mist or a glitter type body spray. So I think you're really gonna like both of these. I get requests to share this type of recipe all the time, and I know that there are lots of different ways to make body sprays, Today I'm gonna to be showing you my preferred method of making these types of body sprays. I'm also gonna be sharing the recipe in the description box below. For my patrons this week, I'm gonna go ahead and write up these two recipes along with percentages in a full detailed written tutorial for you to check out. If you're interested in that, please head on over to my Patreon campaign. I'll leave the link to my campaign in the description box below. You can unlock these body mist spray recipes and tutorials along with two and a half years of archived recipes at the $5 level. In addition to my recipe and tutorial tier, there are several other tiers to take advantage of and take a look at. So I hope in this new year, you will really give some consideration to joining me over there. It's really been a great community we've built and there is so much benefit to joining. All right, let's make some body sprays. Okay, everybody, so the first thing you need to know when you're making a body spray is it's just like making any other type of cosmetic. You wanna make sure your entire workstation is clean, sanitized down so you're not introducing any germs or bacteria into your product. I think you're gonna find this recipe to be very user-friendly. It comes together super quickly and easily. Like I said before, it is my preferred method of making body sprays, and I'm gonna show you why. So we today are gonna to be using a body spray base in both recipes. The first recipe, we're gonna be using this clear body spray base, and it comes from Essentials by Catalina, Bath and Body Supply. This is a base I came across several years ago, and it's been my go-to recipe for body sprays. In my quest to make a body spray from scratch several years ago, I was finding it to be really difficult to make a quality product that I actually liked. I didn't like the oil-based sprays for bodies. Um, I know that that is a really popular way to make body sprays as well. Um, I like to use a body oil when I want that type of hydration. I don't like an oil base necessarily when I just want a little spritz of fragrance. So this is a crystal clear base. I've never had any problem with clouding. No matter what fragrance I add to it, um, it stays clear and you don't need to add any other type of ingredient. So I am in love with this base. I've recommended it lots and lots to my um, patrons and my subscribers over the years. So I'm gonna show you just how to put this one together. So the first thing you're gonna do is get a beaker or some sort of large container like a Pyrex. And we will be sharing the recipe in the description box below, but I'll go ahead and let you know the amounts here as well. So this is an alcohol-based spray, although it does not smell like alcohol at all in your finished product. And I don't find it to be drying again because I'm not using it to hydrate my body. I'm just using it for some scent and a little finishing spray after I put on my lotion. So we are gonna be working in grams today. We're gonna to be making a little more than 400 grams of product. So we're gonna be pouring off 400 grams of this body spray base that looks just like water. Now, the problems that I've had in the past with my body sprays that I've tried to make from scratch is I was having a hard time getting my fragrance oil and my, and my base that I made to stay crystal clear. Um, it would get cloudy as soon as I would add the fragrance oil to it or the essential oil. And then you had to add something like polysorbate 80 or 20 that wasn't always effective. So this recipe does not require the use of any polysorbate 80 or 20. It doesn't require any solubilizers or solvents or emulsifiers. It's all in the base. And as long as you are using your fragrance oil within the percentages that are allowable in the base, 
then you're gonna get a perfect spray every time. So today we're gonna to be using the fragrance called Pineapple Papaya. And this is from Brambleberry. I absolutely adore this fragrance. It smells a lot like Dole Whip. It's like creamy, got some vanilla base to it. And it's got that nice juicy top note of the pineapple and the papaya. So I really do love this fragrance. You've seen me use it in bath bombs and cold processed soap. So we're gonna go ahead and weigh off our fragrance oil. And we're gonna be using 20 grams of fragrance oil per 400 grams of base. Now that is a 5% fragrance load. So per 400 grams, I'm using a 5% fragrance load. So that's gonna give me 20 grams of fragrance. And as you can see, it has clouded up initially. It's not crystal clear at the moment, but this will become crystal clear in just a few minutes. So we're just gonna allow the fragrance to blend in and to stir stir and combine that fragrance with the spray base and it goes right back to crystal clear. And as you can see, I've only been stirring now for maybe 25, 30 seconds and we're already back to a crystal clear spray. Everything is well combined. It's solubilized. There's no separation, just gorgeous. So the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and add a little bit of color. Now I'm gonna be using a lab color. This is a water-soluble liquid lab color that comes from Brambleberry. Um, I find this to go in very easily. If you have any Le Balm colorants around, you can use those as well. Uh, this peach lab color that I'm gonna be using and the lab colors from Brambleberry, you can dilute these in a bit of water. Um, however, they are able to be added directly to products. So a little bit goes a long way. They're very concentrated. So I'm just gonna be putting in probably two drops so we can see what that looks like before adding more. You know, we don't wanna dye anybody's skin uh, with the body spray, but I would like a little hint of color and something that kind of looks like a good pineapple papaya type color. So I'm just gonna add two more drops. And I think that's gonna just about do it. Yeah, that's gonna be it. That's all I'm gonna be adding. Okay, the color is coming together pretty nicely here. However, I do think I want it to be a little more on the peach orangey side. So I'm gonna be adding in a little bit more lab color here. Notice I'm just going in with drops because if you overdo it, of course you can't take it out. Okay, we've got a nice kind of peachy orange colored hue, and that's it. You've made yourself a beautiful, wonderfully smelling body spray. And the last thing that we have to do is go ahead and put it into our spray containers. Okay, so we're gonna be using these four ounce bullet bottles, and I did get these from Berlin Packaging. I'll leave the link down below because they had these cute little silver rimmed spray top lids that go with them, and I thought that that would look really nice for body sprays. So we're just gonna go ahead and fill up these containers and cap it off, and then we'll be done. All 
All right, everybody, there's the first crystal clear body spray, looking gorgeous, smelling amazing. And now we're gonna move on to the glitter spray base. All right, so for the second spray that we're gonna be making, we're gonna be using another base by Catalina. And this time it's gonna be the Shimmer Mist Body Spray. You can't really see it through here, but it's very shimmery and you will see it as soon as I pour it off. So we're gonna be using the same ratios that we did with the crystal clear base. We're gonna be using 400 grams of base. You'll see as it gets poured in. And we're gonna be using 5% fragrance oil. Now you'll notice with this base is it's thick. It's um, a little bit gelatinous and the reason for that is so that glitter that shimmer will suspend and you can add as long as you're using the fragrance within the usage rates recommended by the manufacturer for this base the shimmer and the glitter will stay suspended if you add more or you add more liquid type ingredients to this base it does say on their website that you could um, ruin the suspension. So stick within those guidelines and you get a good spray. Okay. So for this gorgeous glittery spray we are going to be using let me just kind of give you a close-up there so you can kind of see what that looks like we are going to be using some vanilla my favorite vanilla is the vanilla lace and pearls type from nature's garden it smells gorgeous so we're going to go ahead and pour in our 20 grams of vanilla And then we're gonna give this a good stir to incorporate in all of that vanilla. Okay, so we're gonna to continue to stir that a little bit and then we'll be back to go ahead and fill up our containers. Okay, I know I said we were just gonna go ahead and package these up, but I actually am gonna add a little bit of color um, Ordinarily, I would leave this white, but I, for video purposes today, I'm gonna add a little bit of color so you can really see what that glitter spray looks like. Um, I, Cause I think the camera, I think it's harder to pick up the shimmer on camera. I'm using a Le Bomb colorant, just a little bit of pink. I'm just gonna put in a drop of pink, just one drop. Um, it gets very pigmented. Of course, this is not a clear base because it's got all that glitter suspended in it so I'm gonna go ahead and give this a mix and just get that pink all nice and incorporated I'll bring you right back when it's done so you can see what that looks like okay I did change to a spatula for my stirring implement but there you go as you can see it takes color very well it's beautiful and shimmery and this is also made for hair so you can put it on your body or in your hair okay so we're just gonna go ahead and pour it into our containers you could use a funnel for this as well
Okay, there they are, bottled up, looking super gorgeous and shimmery. And I did get one not all the way full here, so I am gonna show you what it looks like. There, if you shake it up a little bit too, you can see the fine glitters a little bit more after it gets into the bottle. There, isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so I am gonna show you a little bit how this glitter one works, so you can see. Um, the only downfall with this glitter spray is that it is super thick and it has to be rubbed in a little bit. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like on the inside of my arm. Um, because this spray here is not wide enough to put out a stream. So, I mean like a nice spray, it's gonna come out in a stream. Um, I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my, my pump here. Okay. So as you can see, it comes out in more of like a thin stream rather than a spray. And you do rub it in a little bit. So I'm wondering if you guys can see that. That beautiful shimmer, it's still wet, but as it dries, it just gives a nice, shimmery look and I like that you can use it in your hair. I actually don't mind that you have to kind of rub it in a little bit. There you go. Hope you can see that. If you guys have any other suggestions as far as what type of bottle might work better for this type of spray, please let me know. Different packaging options might be good for this type of spray. But anyway, that concludes today's video. That's how you make two different beautiful body sprays. I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope it inspired you. I hope you learned something. If you did, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. Please leave a comment or question below. Share this video with a friend and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All right, catch you on the next video. Keep shining. Bye.